in the meantime here, how to, to handle this issue of whether the rich should pay more? We've got with us now Senator Roger Wicker, the fine uh, state of Missouri. Mississippi. Mississippi. I, why did yeah, I know? Right down I the river. I saw MS and my, my fault. I apologize, sir. Then let me ask you then. You heard what Jamie Dimon is telling Charlie Gasparino. You, you, you can't keep going this way. The war path on wealth, the war path on success is a zero sum game. Is he right? Well, I, I wish I'd heard that interview, but uh, I didn't have the earpiece. Uh, let me tell you, we have a spending problem in the United States of America. Uh, it's, it's not that we don't take in enough revenue. Uh, and uh, it, I'm a little confused by all this debate because I thought the president last year, only last year, said you don't raise taxes on anybody during a recession. Well, I'll tell you, we're in a recession. The poverty rate is up. The number of unemployed Americans is up 1.1 million people well, under this president. Well, he flips it around, Senator. The misery index is up. things have improved. 20-some-odd months of steady job growth. Not great job growth. So I get the feeling, Senator, that uh, I, I don't know specifically about economic conditions are in Mississippi, but that he says the wind is kind of at his back. Uh, we're in the Obama economy. He's going to want to change the subject from that. He's, he's not proud of this So you think by going economy. after the rich, this is all I, classic deflection? Absolutely. It's a policy. It's a politics of jealousy and class warfare. And, and think about this. President Obama controlled every bit of this town for two years. Yep. In December of last year, uh, in December of 2010, Pelosi was still speaker. Harry Reid was had a supermajority of 60 votes in the, in the United States Senate. So they if got everything they These were such great ideas. Why right. didn't he propose them then when he could actually do it? But he's this going to theater. argue tonight, Senator, that had he not done what he did when he ran the table and had full control of this town, and that is Democrats, we'd be in even a deeper mess. Well, what he did was add 1.1 million unemployed Americans. Uh, to our society, to raise the misery index, raise the poverty rate, raise gas prices. So when he talks 87%. about fair share to fix things, and you hear that he's going to say the rich should do their fair share, is that landing on deaf ears with well, you? Well, uh, I think we need to address job creation. I think he needs to ask the Democratic Senate that I'm not in the majority on to take up the 30 bills that the Republican House has sent over and let's create some jobs and lift all boats that way. I think that's what he ought to be talking about. Energy, do something with the debt. I wish he would talk about Simpson Bowles, a commission that he appointed and uh, getting serious with the national debt. That's what I wish the debate were about tonight. Well, we're going to have Alan going to be Simpson about on to talk game. about just that. But in right. the meantime, Senator, thank you very much. It's been a long day. I Good apologize for not quickly knowing this day, but I should have. Uh, all right. Uh, we are also, as a